iOS 17 has a lot of cool features, but these ones aren't going to be available at launch. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider, it is Andrew here. Apple has packed iOS 17 with a ton of new features, things like standby mode, the name drop ability, check-in, uh, personalized stickers, live voicemails, there's a lot to love. But there are a few big features that aren't going to be available when iOS 17 ships this fall. Let's talk about it. The first thing that's not going to make the cut for iOS 17 this fall is AirDrop transfers. See, AirDrop is getting a big upgrade this year with iOS 17. It can use NFC to initiate a transfer just by bumping the fronts of your two phones together. It works great so far in the betas. There's a glorious animation as you transfer a website link, a photo, a video, uh, anything, including your contact card. But one of the features that Apple announced is allowing AirDrop transfers to finish over the internet. Say I'm trying to transfer you a large video file in 4K, it's great. But when we go to that transfer, we have to hold our phones together for a really long time for that whole video file to transfer over and it can take a while. But with iOS 17, Apple will allow those transfers to continue over the internet so you don't have to have your phones close together. Unfortunately, this is not gonna be ready by the launch of iOS 17 and will instead be arriving by the end of the year. The next feature not to make it for the launch of iOS 17 is the journal application. Journal is an all new app from Apple that can use on-device machine learning to create these personalized memories for you. They can be based on things like your workouts, your maps and locations, your photos, your music playlist, all this kind of stuff and put it into this glorious little journal scrapbook that you can go back and look at. You can see where you had visited, where you had done a workout, maybe who you were with, photos from those times, all of that. And of course, you can expand your thoughts just by typing in what you feel, how it was, what you did, all of that. It's a really cool little app that Apple is using and it'll sync across your devices, super protected, encrypted on device. It's fantastic, but it's gonna take a lot of work and Apple isn't gonna have ready by this fall. Finally, we're not gonna get collaborative playlists. Collaborative playlists are coming to Apple Music where you can invite others to help pitch in and choose the music. They can add songs, remove songs, reorder the list of songs in the playlist, and even react to what's playing using emoji. It's a really cool feature that's honestly been on other platforms for a long time, so it's long overdue that Apple added this feature. Apple even has a version of this for CarPlay, where people in the backseat can just scan a QR code and boom, start sharing to your playlist and help control the music that's in the car. But unfortunately, they say that Apple Music's collaborative playlists are not going to arrive by the launch of iOS 17, and instead will again be arriving by the end of the year. So what do you guys think? These are some pretty big features that I am excited about and a little bummed that they're not going to make it by launch. But I'm hoping iOS 17.1 will be around not long after and arrive before the holidays. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I got a lot more videos heading your way.